welcome to my first tutorial in Ionic. So in this video, I want to show you how you to create a mobile application with Ionic. Yeah, in this section, it's also mm, enhance your spirit that everyone can make a mobile application such as iOS, iOS applications and also Android application. Note in this video in, or in this section, it has no installations here, but we can use an Ionic Playground. So jump into your browser. I'm using Google Chrome here. You can use Safari or Mozilla. Okay. Oops. There is no internet connection. Maybe lack of internet connectivity here. I want to restart my hotspot. Okay. It has three tabs here, HTML, CSS, and JS. In HTML tab, we can, yeah, use this template for basic template to make Ionic project. And in this JS tab, it has logic to make our mobile logic. We use angular.js, so you can see here in angular.js, if you first time to use angular.js, you can see angular.js tutorial, and you can see w3schools.com here to angular.js tutorial. You can follow this tutorial from home into application, from basic to advanced. So jump into play.ionic.io. In this video, you just follow my instruction. Jump into HTML tab. Here, I want to remove this awesome app here. I want to change to my own header okay for title as you can see in this right panel it has preview called as my own header okay for title and in this button I want to change just remove this one to my own button If I press this button, it has no changing or some event call. Okay, I want to show a pop-up call alert. Okay, I want to use ng click to call my function. Just create. I just call with my click. This is my own function called as my click. You can use your own name here. You can use my own function or anything else. But I use my click. In this ion pen, you can declare your controller to scope your project inside your page here because this is a simple tutorial so I use my controller just it okay 
we need to declare my controller in my JS and we need to declare my click function to our own JS also okay let's jump into JS and we can create our controller here okay just follow my syntax my rules here follow with your control name here my controller oops follow with follow with function and dependency injection called scope and yeah you can use scope follow with my your own function click my click function yeah you can use alert hello world this is my first mobile application okay there is no error here so if I press this button this pop up will show and it says hello world this is my first mobile application and I press OK to remove this show this pop up I mean okay and the next one is I want to if I press this button I want to count up count count up from one to three how can we do that so can declare our variable call count equal to zero and I remove this alert and I tell this program if I click this button I want to count up my count from zero to one if I press in the second time from one to two okay make sense okay let's do this one count plus plus it means that if I click if I click this button increment the zero to one if second time increment from one to two okay and then I make alert here follow with count inside my alert okay run this one and if I press in first time it show up and return as one okay press again two if I press for the third time it shows up and return three okay my friend we can <coughs> we just complete this first tutorial thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video okay bye and thanks